welcome Shikshangan. Uh, we are bringing you a new series on student motivation. Student ka motivation is very kam raha, so then there is a very slow chance, low chance of them doing well either in academics or even otherwise. So we are going to be talking into four episodes on what are the causes for them having a low motivation or uske kuch, uske kuch remedy hai ya nahi, are there some cures for that or not. So it doesn't matter how slowly the student goes, as long as they keep at it and unka motivation shore up karna is something that we need to do. And this new series on student motivation will be giving us some clues on that. Before I begin, I want to request you to do like and share forward this video as well as subscribe to the channel of Shikshangan Education Initiatives. So there are three main factors which impact student motivation. Sabse pehle home environment. Now home environment does not mean that the home has to be very rich or that everybody needs to be speaking in English. But we need to look at a couple of things at the home to see that the students remain motivated on the tasks which are given in school. The second factor which is affecting student motivation is that they may have some missing background knowledge. Background knowledge kya hai? Iski humne pehle bhi baat ki hai. And there is a link to the episode where we talked about this on top. But we will speak about that briefly in second episode. This episode is focusing on home environment. The third factor which impacts student motivation is stress. Stress is caused by a variety of reasons including the home environment as well as the missing background knowledge and wo baat third episode mein hogi and the last and the fourth episode will talk about therefore what can you do. So this episode is going to be focusing on the home environment. What kind of a home environment is conducive to really making sure that the students remain, remain motivated for whatever they are expected to do in their life, both professional, both academically and otherwise. So, we have done some teachers ke saath interviews ke ye video banane ke pehle, and we asked them that what do you think are the different kinds of homes that your students are coming from? Environment kaisa hota hai ghar mein? These are English medium schools, of course. We were asking them. So, some teachers said, oh, there, are, there is helicopter parenting. Yani, jaise ki parent helicopter pe apne hi bachche ke sar ke upar mandra raha and they are constantly watching what they are doing. So, there is no freedom at all. Some teachers said that there are very high expectations from parents and these sometimes do not match the aptitude of the child. Some of the teachers said that peer pressure hota hai ya comparison is a lot. It's rampant in homes. Ye toh hum jante hai. The comparison between children begins at birth. Larka hai ya larki then. My baby is actually weighing 3 kgs. Yours is 3.5 kgs. Mine is crawling. Yours is not crawling. Vagera vagera. Right up to which school is the child going to? And how is the child performing in school? So this comparison also keeps happening in many homes. Some teachers said. Some teachers also told us that people, the parents keep pampering the children because unko dikhana hai ki mera social status bhoat badi hai. I can give my child anything that the child desires. And then such parents also end up believing that bachho ko satisfy kar diya, sari needs puri kar di, to unka motivation hai rahega and so on. Some teachers also said that some parents believe that a good home is a home jahan hum bachho ki sari need puri kar de bas. Right. So, which means that they have no clue about what kind of parenting can result in the optimum motivation for the student. Whereas we know that motivation has a direct correlation with what kind of a home background the child is coming from. So, what should we do Now, research is telling us that there are three factors only. Imagine just three factors that we can educate all parents on for what kind of a home environment is the best. Okay. So, it comprises of three elements. Number one, what kind of communication happens at home regarding the school? Respectful communication hota hai ya nahi? Do the parents discuss and encourage the children regarding the school, the school work, the teachers and also sare jo kuch resources hai wo provide karte ya nahi? A quiet place to study, some craft and art material, textbooks etc etc. Is this provided or not? Or is there total disregard for the school work? Second factor, a supervision factor. Now, this is why parents are not going to be able to do 
Okay. We asked a lot of teachers that who told us, oh, but the parents don't speak in English. They're not able to supervise the child's work. Vagera, vagera. So we asked them, how many of you had your grandparents who went to an English medium school or ikka dukka hadu paraya? We then asked the same teachers, how many of you had your parents who went to school? Bahut se hadu paraya. Then we asked them, how many of you have your own parents who went to English medium school? Ek ya do hi haat. But that didn't stop these teachers from becoming good in English. So we cannot be blaming the home that unko angrezi nahi aati. The only thing we require is, when the child is studying, the parent should be around and be supervising the work. Ye nahi that the child is studying and the parent is watching some sasbi kabhi bahuti kind of stuff. Alright, so that's the second factor. And the third factor, which is an important one, is what kind of a parenting style do these parents have at home? Iske baare mein next slide pe zyada baat hoki with examples. Because we know what is the idea of communication about the school and also supervision. But we need to understand a little bit more about parental styles. And because we know that high expectations will actually lead to high achievement. Pygmalion ki story malu hongi. We talked about Pygmalion in another episode and the link is here and you might want to look at that. High expectation high and high um, achievement is correlated. Let's talk about what kind of parenting styles and expectations can there be. There are actually four kinds that research is talking about. Permissive, yani I will do whatever you say, but I will tell you what I will do. Authoritative, which is also known as democratic. Thoda tumara, thoda mera. Authoritarian, which is very strict and very disciplinary. And you, it's my way or you take the high way. And uninvolved. This is the most tragic parenting style. Ki mujhe koi matlab hi nahi, aap kya kar rao, life mein. Alright. This graph cho- shows it very, very beautifully. Because you can see what kind of a parenting style results in what kind of a child in your at home and in school. So the permissive one, where you say, you're the boss, you're the boss, the parent is telling the child, it is very low in response, very, uh, very low in control and strictness and very high in responding to the child's need. Okay. This doesn't help. The other one, the second one, which is authoritative, joki hum chate hai, when the parent says, let's talk about it. Okay. It's high in responsiveness. It's also high in demanding. I won't give in to everything that you say. The third one, which is authoritarian, that I am saying so, so you do it, is very high in demanding and very low in warm. Many of us may have grown up like this, but it was not the best way, really. Take my word. And the last one, which is a very tragic one, is uninvolved, very low in strictness, very low in warmth. Why do they want children at all? So what we know is that this is the best one, you know, the authoritative or the democratic style of parenting, which is most nurturing for the children. A little bit of yours and a little bit of not mine and we get going, we get forward. So one more slide to explain the same thing because high expectations and high achievement are correlated. So you can see the four parenting styles on the left hand side, authoritative, which is democratic, permissive, I have given to everything, authoritarian, you give in to everything, uninvolved, I don't care. And uspe self-image, emotion, social interaction, academics, sabhi ke upar asar hota hai. So the first one, which is a desirable one, it, it actually results in high motivation in the children and the students. The second one, very low motivation. The third one, it's mid-level motivation. We probably grew up this way, all right? But the last one is again low motivation and therefore we need to aim at authoritative. Magar ab kya kare? How do we teach this to the parents? Therefore, we have responsibilities as educators. What is said here that we should organize a lot of regular workshops for parents, not just for teachers. Sir, if ek bar year mein orientation nahi, systematically planned workshops there is no school which teaches you to be the right kind of parent. We are just parents in India. Nothing really teaches us or prepares us. We just remember what our parents did and we follow that. Therefore, organize workshops, give them training and support. During these workshops, teach them, help them to have a warm communication, respectful communication about the school with their children. That was the first point we had mentioned. Also, show them what is the meaning of supervision. 
when your child is studying, what are they expected to do? All this can be done in the workshop, right, with the parents. And also, we can talk to them about these four parenting styles. Here, the next PTA ke liye ye slides and ye episode bahut kaam mein aega because you can create an entire module on what kind of a parenting style do you have and what are the reserves because of that. So teach them that as well about how do you become an effective parent by becoming an authoritative or a democratic parent. All right. So this was the first episode where we talked about the home environment and the parenting styles. The takeaway from there being an authoritative or democratic parenting style can result in high motivation. We need to keep the motivation flying high. Do like, share forward and subscribe to our channel. Episode 2 will talk about the next thing about how do I fill in the missing background knowledge. Stay with us.